What's up YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. Now before we get started with this week's episode of WWE's Biggest Issue, which is going to be a bit controversial if you will, the road to 200 subs has now come to a close and we are now on the road to 500 subs. Who knows, maybe we might hit 500 subs by the end of the summer. Only time will tell. But as I have said in previous videos, if this channel does get to 500 subs, I will open up this Korean LOB booster box in its entirety on the channel that I got from my partners over at Collector Store. So be sure to check them out. Link and address will be in the description below. By checking them out, not only does it support them, it also supports the channel, and I would greatly appreciate it. On the hopes to potentially pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon, a Dark Magician, a Red Eyes Black Dragon, a Piece of Exodia, Monster Reborn, Pot of Greed, the possibilities are out there. However, if this channel gets to 1,000 subs, I will open up this first edition Toon Chaos box in its entirety, on the channel that I also got from my partners at Collector Store, on the hopes to potentially pull a collector's rare out of this set. Excuse me. But it wouldn't be the first time that I pulled a collector's rare because I also pulled this. Freshly pulled out of my Genesis Impact box opening that I did last year is a collector's rare beat cup from the underworld. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Obviously, the centering, centering on the back is a bit off from top to bottom, but honestly, it really doesn't make much of a damn because I am going to be getting this car graded, but I never came up with a good opportunity to do so. But, with that being said, if you guys want to see, see these boxes get opened, maybe you guys want more episodes of WWE's Biggest Issue. Maybe you guys want more episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s Biggest Issue. Deck profiles, card discussions, WWE topic videos, or maybe, just maybe, you guys want some premium live event predictions and results. Well, if you guys, well, if you guys want all of that and more, my channel is the place to be. So if you guys are new to the channel and channel, and I know, I know that a lot of you guys are because I because uh, it appears that. Um, Because it appears that a very large portion of you guys have not subscribed. You guys, you guys are watching the content, but you guys are not subscribed. So if you guys want more, want more Yu-Gi-Oh! and WWE content, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell. Smash that thumbs up button on this video. And as always, make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media. My ads will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And I want you guys to post in the comments below answering the question of the day, which basically ties into this week's episode, which is this. What do you guys believe should be the main event of WrestleMania Saturday? And WrestleMania Sunday this year in Philadelphia. Let me know down in the comments below because for today's video, it appears that The Rock has put the WrestleMania 40 Sunday main event in shambles. And what I mean by that is last week on Raw, we saw the return of The Rock via via the fact that Jinder Mahal, who liked The Rock is also a former WWE champion, decided to return to WWE even though he has aligned himself with the team known as Indus Share. And uh, The Rock basically said, should I sit at a booth? Should I sit at the bar? Or should I sit at the head of the table? Teasing... A potential WrestleMania main event between The Rock and Roman Reigns. Now, funny enough, there were rumors that this match was supposed to have happened last year at WrestleMania here in my hometown of LA. Big shout out to Starbucks for the cold brew. Not sponsored, but awesome coffee. Anyway, anyway, 
But because of the fact... But because that Cody Rhodes had... Had... Won the men's... The men's Royal Rumble match last year. He was the one that went on to challenge... To challenge Roman for... For the Undisputed title at WrestleMania. In a losing effort. Now, here's where things get... Get interesting. Because... Because when you look at the match between Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes, Roman wins. So what happens to Cody? He ends up, he ends up in this like, in this 2012-2013 John Cena story, if you will, where, where, where John Cena loses to to The Rock at at WrestleMania in Miami of all play, literally of all cities. In Miami, Florida. Goes on to win. Literally goes on to defeat Brock Lesnar. Win Money in the Bank. But becomes the first person to cash in Money in the Bank. And fail the cash in. Because of a... Because... Because of a disqualification. Royal Royal Rumble 2013. John Cena win... win Wins the whole thing and defeats The Rock at WrestleMania inside MetLife Stadium. This is Cody Rhodes. This is basically what's happening right now with Cody Rhodes. He ends up in a battle with with Brock Lesnar. He wins at Backlash in in San Juan. He loses to to the Beast in in Jeddah at Night of Champions, but defeats Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam in Detroit. Then goes on to become a tag team champion, loses the titles within just a within just a few weeks, and now, and now the cycle is repeating itself all over again. But now, excuse me. But now, there are, there are two more obstacles in Cody Rhodes' way: CM Punk and The Rock. Here's where things get interesting because CM Punk returns in Chicago. How ironic, right? Returns to WWE in his hometown of, of Chicago after Cody Rhodes and his team won war games against the Judgment Day. And he said... He mentioned Cody Rhodes, you know, he mentions, you know, you know, Cody Rhodes finishing up his story. And CM Punk brings up finishing what he started, which was main eventing WrestleMania. Because when he was the WWE champion, he was this close from 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 main eventing WrestleMania. He was this close. Now, if he would now, if his match with Chris Jericho that night in Miami was the second to last match, as in like as in the co main event, honestly, that that right there would have been would have been perfect. That would have been perfect for CM Punk, but it was in the middle middle of the card, if you will. And now we have The Rock back in back in WWE. After such a long, after such a long period of time, and that, and now the question is, where, where does WWE go from here? Who do they award the royal, the Royal Rumble victory to? Do they award it to to CM Punk? Do they award it to to The Rock, which would make it his second, his second Royal Rumble match win in literally twenty. In what, 23, 24 years? Or do they award it to Cody Rhodes, which would make back-to-back Royal Rumble victories? What what do they do? That that right there is something is some is something that we need to figure out. Because right now, the Seth Rollins story of him. Of him as the world heavyweight champion 
has been red hot. I have never, never seen Seth freaking Rollins go, go this far as world champion. In fact, I think the last time he, he went this far, it was back in 2015, where he cashes in Money in the Bank at WrestleMania, becomes WWE champion, but ends up having to drop the title due to injury. This is the first time that he's gone longer than his first title run, which is insane. Which is insane. And to be quite honest, the Bloodline story, in my opinion, it's gotten to a point now where no matter what, no matter who, Roman Reigns defends the title against. The end, the, the end result is still the same. The Bloodline gets involved, Roman retains. It's been that way for years. So it's like, what do we do? It's like, why, it's like, why are we cheering for a guy who is using his bloodline to bail, to bail him out of his own, of his own title matches when, when we can cheer a guy who overcomes all the odds and Face and and literally steps into in, into the ring with the best and defeats the best. Guys like Main Event Jey Uso, guys like Cody Rhodes, guys like Drew McIntyre, guys like Damian Priest, who is now Mister Money in the or now actually Senor Money in the Bank. Sorry, um, you know it's like why cheer for a guy who who relies on his family to win when we can cheer a guy who is ba who is basically now one of the biggest baby faces in all of WWE you know you know you know I think I think second to to main event Jey Uso and, and Cody Rhodes you know it it's weird it's weird but we're we're, we're right now Drawing closer and closer and closer to the Royal Rumble. Like right now, right now it's it's Monday, January eighth, and the Royal Rumble is right around the end. Is right around the end of en end of the month. So when you look at When you look at the Royal Rumble, we are now 19 days away. Think about that. We are now 19 days away from arguably one of the biggest Royal Rumble premium live events that we've had in years. In years. And already, for both the men's and the women's Royal Rumble matches, it's already stacked. I mean, think of who's going to be in it. On the women's side, you got Bailey, you got Becky Lynch, you, you got Bianca Belair, just to name and 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 even also Nia Jax, just to name name a few. And on the men's side, you've got Bobby Lashley, you've got Cody Rhodes, you've got CM Punk, you've got what Karrion Cross, perhaps. I'm sure Karrion Cross is, 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 is probably going to enter. Maybe, maybe, maybe we might see see Ashante the Adonis, who who we hadn't seen in you know you know compete in 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 the ring ring in quite some time since Top Dalla got released from from WWE and Hit Row is basically done. Bfab is. Doing, is doing her own thing, trying to get into into Bobby into into Bobby Lashley's crew, and Ashante is practically alone. And not only that, you look at the rest of the card for the Royal Rumble. You've got Logan Paul versus Kevin Owens for the United States title. Not only that, Roman Reigns basically fucked himself 
by literally destroying the main event from this past Friday on SmackDown, which was supposed to have been a number one contenders match between, excuse me, between AJ Styles, LA Knight, and Randy Orton. The winner would face Roman at the Royal Rumble for that for the undisputed title, but because that he ruined the match, Ned Galdis was like, you know what? We're gonna do, I'm just, I'm just going to make it a fatal four-way. And now Roman Reigns has backed himself into, into an even bigger corner than he had ever thought. And the odds are now stacked against him, even in spite of the fact that even in, even in spite of the fact that he's level leveled the playing field with Jimmy Uso and Solo in in his corner, he still backed himself up into a cor- in, into a corner, which I will be doing a full fledged, a full in depth prediction video, um, just a, only a few days before the Rumble. So make sure you guys get get ready for that. But it again again it all ties back into in in. Into the question, who's who's gonna make it in WrestleMania with Roman Reigns? Because we know Roman Reigns is gonna win. He, he's gonna win the Royal Rumble, you know, at Royal Rumble. He's gonna win at a at, at Elimination Chamber. If if he defends the title at at Elimination Chamber in Perth, Australia, so who's gonna make it in WrestleMania? Honestly, at, at this point, it's it's hard to say. But WWE, because because of The Rock, because of The Rock, he has put WWE. He has backed WWE up into a corner that I honestly don't think they that they can escape from. It's something that can't be escaped, but. In my opinion, the way I see it, from now leading into WrestleMania, I think the way the way this should work is this: Roman wins wins the Fatal Four Way. CM Punk wins the wins the wins the Royal Rumble. Roman Reigns retains his title against The Rock. At Elimination Chamber, Cody Rhodes wins an Elimination Chamber match, and then goes on to WrestleMania Sunday and defeats Roman for the for the, for the title, where Sam Punk will challenge Seth freaking Rollins for the World Heavyweight Title. That's just how I see it. That's the road that I see. But then again, but then again. They could also go go the route of CM Punk winning the Royal Rumble and challenging Roman for for the title at, at WrestleMania, and then Cody Rhodes challenging Seth on WrestleMania Sun uh, Saturday. I mean, I mean the possi- I mean the possibilities are out there, but I think the the first idea that's the way to go. Is it possible? Probably it's it's possible, but nine times out of ten, it's probably bound to happen. But we're just gonna have 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 to see what happens. I mean, there's no telling what what can happen next. But with that, but let me know down in in the comments below your thoughts on on this whole thing and who exactly should main event WrestleMania Sunday with Roman Reigns. Let me know down in the comments below. And that'll do it for the, for this week's episode of WWE's Biggest Issue. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys want more episodes of WWE's Biggest Issue in the future, make sure you guys sub- subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and follow me on all of my social media. My ads will be in the description below. As will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash signing out.